Hey Libra, welcome to your Eclipse special reading. This is specifically for Libra Sun Moon Rising, and it's going to be for the Eclipse season that is happening in October. It kicks off October 14th with the new moon solar eclipse in Libra, and then we move on to the 28th, 29th full moon lunar partial eclipse in Taurus, okay? The spirit messages for you all are going to be resuming in November as well. This is going to be kind of like a spirit message, but specifically towards eclipse season, okay? So just give me a minute. If you've never watched my spirit messages before, please know that sometimes I end up channeling directly. So my eyes may go a little bit weird, a little bit funny, okay? Or there may be different kinds of glitches because I do connect directly uh, to source and I become essentially a vessel uh, for delivering information, okay? Here we go, all right? I want to pull out a couple more cards here to help you with this message. And I'm going to start um, taking some deep breaths here to really start to tuning in and seeing. There may have been a lot of messages coming through from source regarding your relationships, your relationship with self, the relationships that you have with other. And um, specifically, if you are a female, the relationships that you have with men. For men, it's the relationship that you have or the lack of relationship that you have with mother. I'm trying to see if any other messages, they don't want me to get these cards cool, okay? They just want me to really focus on the spiritual cards. Hopefully you can see them all here on the table. There will be an influx of emotions that will come up for you during the eclipse season. These emotions are coming up for you as a form of healing, as a form of purging, and as a form of transformation in your life. For some of you, the catalyst moments that will be occurring will feel like tower moments. They will be moments of despair and hopelessness and helplessness, but that's not actually the reality of what's happening. It's your perception of what's happening because there is a loss of control. You can no longer control the outcome of these partnerships, of these relationships, of these connections and these unions that are not supporting you for your highest good. And so because you are a loss of control and you can no longer make things work out for you in your favor, you are being asked by source, by your angels, by your masters, by your teachers, by consciousness, by your highest self to surrender to the process and allow yourself to really feel the trauma, the pain, the suffering challenges that you've gone through growing up in your past relationships, the things that you've tried to suppress, the illusion, the disillusionment, the fears, the narratives, the suppression of your true authentic expression in order to please and appease other people. For many of you, this stems from the toxic or unhealthy relationships that you had with mom or dad growing up or their external expectations of you and their perceived perception of your inability to be able to step up and meet their unrealistic expectations. You are older now and you're being called on by source, by God, by your highest self, by angels, masters, and teachers, and the divine realm to finally free yourself of these narratives, of this pain, of this suffering, of these challenges, of these obstacles that have really stopped you from showing up and flourishing and being the butterfly in your fullest expression. Now, the cards that we got here are really interesting. We have one, two, three, four cups and a cup inside of play, the king of swords and the three of wands. Ultimately, the message here is moving forward, letting go of what has transpired in the past in order to make a pathway, in order to make the journey forward into your life. You cannot stay stuck in the past and expect yourself to move forward towards your goals, towards your ambition, towards the things that you desire. You have the great severing, <laughs> Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. This, these trials, these tribulations, these difficult relationships that you were uh, taught were healthy when really they weren't are being illuminated right now, are exploding right now in different aspects of your life. For some of you, marriage, for others of you, career, 
friendships, exes, your parents, etc. So that you can actually see how unhealthy these connections have been. With play, it says have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious. You see, in life, I think for most of you, you haven't really had this opportunity to soften. You haven't had this opportunity to dive into the Venetian, divine, feminine, receptive, creative, surrendering energy that you are ruled by. For some of you that are watching this, you've been expected to be in masculine, in guard, always hustling, always doing, 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 without really experiencing what it means to relax. And the child within inner mother, innocence, gentleness, tenderness. How can you mother yourself? How can you heal the wounds? Many people that come to me for one-on-one -on -one readings talk to me and share with me the difficult obstacles and challenges that they experienced in their childhood and the obstacles, challenges, or traumatic relationships they have with their parents. They have this idea that their parents should change and therefore that will heal them. The reality though is my love, and I'll share this for me from a place of deep vulnerability, is that until you heal yourself, until you take action, until you take accountability and responsibility for yourself and you start working on healing your own inner child, your relationship with your parents will never change. It is not up to your parents, it is up to you because you are the chosen one, because you are the one that has made the decision to break the generational trauma and the generational curses and the patterns that have kept your family lineage and pain and suffering. It is up to you. And with the Six of Cups really referencing the Akashic Records in this card, if you have not gotten an Akashic Records reading, I would encourage you to do so. If you know how to get into the Akashic yourself, you could do so. If you want to get into the Akashic with some support, I can do that in a cosmic session with you. You have to look back in order to propel yourself forward. The King of Cups is asking you to be very emotionally mature, emotionally balanced in order for you to be able to heal the pain. The Seven of Cups is telling you that there are a plethora of different options, different directions that you can choose to take. Which crystal do you want? Which path do you want? Which journey do you want to go on? It is up to you. Where do you see yourself in five years, ten years? If you want to get there, that choice is yours and the steps that you're going to take to get there. As we move on towards the end of your reading, we have the King of Swords showing up, which is you in your highest energy. But notice again, we have that masculine showing up, not the feminine, but the Queen of Swords. So my question to you is, where do you always need to step up and be masculine in your life? And where can you soften and surrender to the feminine? The masculine King of Cups talks about logic, rational, black and white, pro and con. There is rigidity here. There is discipline. There is structure. But at the end of the day, you have to do what is best for you. With the Four of Cups and the Three of Wands, introspection, self-reflection, a lot of meditation during this eclipse season, a lot of journaling, a lot of shadow work, a lot of going back into your past lives, into the Akashic Records will support you so much in being able to understand what is really still tethering you to the pain and suffering so you can move forward and heal and finally feel love, joy, and fulfillment in your life. The amulet that you also got is High Priestess. High Priestess is connected to Source Consciousness. This is a, a direct connection to your crown chakra and your third eye opening yourself up here with this piece, High Priestess, the Moonstone, and the Labradorite. If you want to pick that up, you can do so in the description box below. It is over at Starcy Jewels. I designed the pieces myself and hand make them here in-house. And if you want to book a session with me or join me in my private members only community sanctum, it's in the description box below. I'm going to leave this video here to help you with some of the shadow work that you can go through during eclipse season to be able to come out with the best outcome possible. Thank you so much. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.